Need to take it, looking up, see what his options are. Barry Kiley's making a run, getting the ball, and he boots it into the corner. In for Barry Kiley. Barry Kiley being chased over there by uh, Dennis Duggan. Barry Kiley doesn't get it up the first time. Tackle going in, gets it up the second down down. Now, what can he do with it? He's going along the end to the 20 meter line. Gets the ball to Peter Kelleher. Peter Kelleher gets it across, but Martin Barry does very well to catch it and works the ball out. And away from uh, Grenard once again, working down the far side of the field. Bit a lot of space, kicking the ball forward. But that will be picked up by. Oh, he's going to come off. He didn't hold on to it. He just missed the pass. It's gone inside to Kevin Desmond. Now, Kevin is going inside. He's with his left foot, gets the ball across, it hits up the upright, oh, and Raymond Dolan pulls him along inside it. Mark O'Brien is back there though, how are they going to work this one out if they need to hold on to the ball? They do, Dan Tooney gets it back, oh, oh, oh. bit of uh, dangerous uh, to play for the works out to Mark O'Brien, gets the ball back to Dan, Dan back to Eddie, Eddie, what's he going to do with it? Passing the ball inside, how about getting caught a little bit statically, Danny Buckley looking for somebody, can he keep going? He keeps the ball in his foot and he's still going, what can he do with it now? And boots the ball down along the wing, looking for John Hogan again, Tony Dorgan trying to get him. And Donny Dorgan fouling John Hogan, and that's going to be a free in. Uh, fouling John Hogan, and that's going to be a free in. Declan Kiley coming over to take it. And uh, right very close to the line, Eddie Toomey. Will he look for somebody short here? Ball in towards the corner. Well, Paul O'Rourke doing very well to win it, and he's uh, trying to get up. And he's trying to get up, and the referee is, and uh, the referee says there was no foul there, and it's coming out, and that's going to be a free out for Granada. And uh, line ball, Eddie Tooney trying to race back here. This is John Russell. John, he's heading up the field. He's still going. Being chased by Eddie Tooney, Niall Buckley. Niall Buckley coming across him, and he's still there. He's still there, and the referee says that's a free. And uh, he says that's going to be a free. And John Russell, Tom Kenny taking the quick free down in towards the corner. Out very close to the line, and the referee says that's going to be another free. And uh, it's going to be a free in. And will this be Kevin Desmond again to come out and take it? He seems to be the left footed kind of a kicker man. Yeah, he's about 30 metres out of goals. Wind blustering around again. Hard to know what way it's blowing. Is it blowing against Kevin? Kind of blowing across the field as much as anything else. Kevin Desmond, full forward. Kicking it, it's not going to go over the bar, but it'll certainly not go wide either. Ball across the goals is broken down, and Avalon win it away. Dan Toomey collecting the ball for Avalon, trying to work the ball out. Still going. Barry Kiley doing very well to hold on to the ball, and the pass was a little bit high. Working the ball back, gets the ball back to Dan. Dan going forward, he met by a couple of tackles going down, and the referee blows the whistle and says that's a free. Free out for Avalon. David Mining going over to take it, I think. Yeah, David Mining coming out from his goals to take it. He's. Uh, Goalkeeper of the Cork Vocational Schools team last year and subkeeper on uh, uh, this year rather and subkeeper also on the Cork Minor football team last year. David Monaghan set himself down and driving the ball, it's a good high one right down the middle it goes. Niall Buckley and Mark Kenny, uh, referee says that's going to be a free, I think it's a free for Avalok, is it? Or free for Granada? No, it's a free for Granada. Well, uh, Mark Kenny taking the pick free down into the corner, Didi Dorgan turning down to me. Now what can he do with it? Kicking, right across the goals, and it's over the bar. Point for D.D. Dorgan to uh, reduce the margin further down to two points. Over the bar, and it's three points for Gunnar, one, two for Ahabala. And uh, certainly D.D. Dorgan doing very well to kick the last two points for, uh, for um, uh, Gunnar. So you just check here around, John Russell has gone out wing John Russell has gone out to midfield, Didi Dorgan has gone in full forward, Tom Kenny has gone centre and Kevin Desmond has gone right half forward, out to Mark O'Brien, coming out here to Eddie Toomey, Eddie holds it onto it, gets it to Mark O'Brien, nice quick release of the ball, Mark O'Brien gone up along the well, he's tackled, holding on the well and he's still going, losing possession of the ball though, two Grenada lads arriving for it, one of them being John Russell, John Russell holding onto the ball, doing a little toe to hand and a long ball in, they're isolating uh, Didi Dorgan inside with James Milan. Turning around very well, D.D. Dorgan going in a solo run, he's gone inside, now what can he fist it across, he fits it across and he fits the ball over the bar, fisting the ball over the bar, another point for D.D. Dorgan, after 23 minutes of play, another point to make the score, four points for Ghana, still 1-2 for Abba. The, um, 
See what they can do. David Moynihan, see how about it? It's very difficult to move the ball forward and uh, trying to get the ball up the field. David Moynihan to take the kick out. Ball down this side of the field again. So towards John Russell, nine boxer. John Russell takes that. Met by a couple of tackles. Ball is taken off by Dan Tooney. Dan, oh, Dan is met with a, with a tackle in the middle of the field and that's going to be, it's going to be no free. Hits the ball in. It's gone to Paul O'Rourke. Paul O'Rourke is fouled again. Getting the ball inside. How can he do with it? And uh, there's a substitute coming on here. I think is that Seamus Coleman? Yeah, Seamus Coleman about to be called into the action. Yeah, coming on. And uh, Seamus Coleman coming on. And Colin Kenny coming on. Colin Kenny coming off, I think. Looks like him. Low ball, we'll follow the play. Gets it into John Hogan. Passes the ball back to Peter Kelleher. Peter going forward. He's got a shot in his left foot. The referee says it's a free out. The referee says it's a free out, took too many steps. He kicked the ball right anyway. And uh, 13. And uh, we'll have a look at it. I think it's going to be a free out as opposed to a kick out. Ball went well over the uh, the, the wire below, as it were. As, uh, Colin Kinney, replaced there by Seamus Coleman. We have uh, four and a half minutes to go to the break. Martin Barry putting the ball down. It's almost like a kick out from the score, about 20 metres. I'm sure again the wind is swirling around here in, in Dunamore. Can both sides trying to get it, trying to get the ball. I see the cornerbacks again have, have, have uh, switched back again. Mick Lehan is back right cornerback. Tony Dogan is back in the other corner. In it goes. Picked up here. This is Kevin Desmond. Low ball down along the wing. This is uh, picked up by uh, James Villan tackling Kevin Desmond. Gary picking the ball up. Kicking the ball inside again. Shawnee Toomey is inside. He's out in front and he does very well. The hand passed the ball out. This is his brother Dan. Dan being tackled by D.D. Dargan and he's fouled by D.D. Dargan. That's going to be a free. And uh, free Seamus Coleman. Not sure what's uh, been going on here. D.D. Dargan I think is going to be spoke to, spoken to. Yep. I think it might be for uh, persistent fouling but no, just, just being told to uh, ease off. I think David Monaghan will come all the way out to take the kick. Yep. Just check you around here. And uh, David Monaghan trying to uh, Find somebody of his own green and white side. Trying down this side again. Eddie Toomey, Niall Buckley, ball holding up in the wind. It's boot belted back in again. Donica Murphy coming out. Donica going down. But he doesn't uh, hold on the ball. Picked up by John Russell. John passing the ball inside. This is Tom Kenny. Now, can Tom Kenny pass the ball across? It's a kind of a to DD Dargan again. He drops it. He gets the ball back out again. Comes out to Kevin Desmond. Kevin turning on his left. That looks good. And it's dead straight and it's over the bar. And the sides are level here in Dunamore. Another point, first for Kevin Desmond, and the score is a level. One goal and two for Ahabala, five points for Granat. And uh, we're heading towards the break. We have about two minutes to go to the break. David Monaghan, a couple of good scores got by Granat. Granat are four points down. They've scored the last four points in a row. David Monaghan trying to get it out. Just check here and see where Seamus Coleman has gone. Seamus Coleman, I think he's gone way over there on the far side of the field where the ball is about to arrive now. Ball broken down. Picking the ball up and Granada doing very well. That's uh, John Russell again, I think. Trying to work it out. Getting the ball back. Eddie Toomey boots the ball forward again. Ja Declan Kiley trying to get ahead of Killian Kenny. And it's and it's passed outside. Ball low and down. This Mac O'Brien is going to make that first though. And does really well to hold on to it. Passing the ball inside. Over the head. It's got by Barry Kiley. Barry going across the goals. And he's uh, and the referee says no free. And uh, we'll play on with the game. John Russell picking the ball up. Passing the ball and booting it along the far side of the field. Out there is Shawnee Toomey and then Cadigan with the hop. The hop is ball bounced over. Coming into D.D. Dargan. Now, is this going to be the lead for Granat? Kicking. The umpires don't like the look of it though. And the ball has gone to the right and wide. Certainly the way he's going. You'd have to have expected maybe D.D. to put that one over the bar, but he didn't. The ball went right and the ball went wide. Ed Dargan going in, giving some advice there to the Granat lads. And uh, difficult around the the field again for both sides to try and hold on to possession of the ball. David Moynihan certainly would have to be said that the, the busier of the two goalkeepers so far. Ball out, going right down the middle again. Niall Buckley, John Russell, ball broken down and it's picked up by Danny Buckley. And Danny Buckley, if the field's given against him, there was a foot went in against him, I thought. However, not sure what the referee is, is seeing there because there certainly seemed to be a foot coming from behind. 
But anyway, we'll watch the videos as Grenard ready another sub. He's uh, James O'Neill. Putting the ball down. D.D. Dorgan coming out to take it. Taking the short one. Back inside again. This is uh, Kevin Desmond. Kevin, it looked like he put the ball up and that. It's not going to go wide, I'd say. It is going to wide. Defended well inside by James Milan. Ball going wide. David Moynihan to take the kick out. Again. Have you a look at it. David Moynihan to take the kick out. Will he go the far side of the field? As, uh, just checking something and there's another sub going on. Yeah, it's number 18. Yeah, James O'Neill is on. And I think it's Carl Cahan is coming off, is it? Yeah, Carl Cahan, the right half-back, is coming off. And uh, that's the end of his uh, involvement for the moment. James O'Neill is on and Seamus Coleman is on. David Moynihan taking the kick out. Ball out the far side of the field. Michal Toomey going up, but he don't, doesn't win the ball. Seamus Coleman on the ground. That's going to be a free. Taking kind of a quick one across the middle of the field. Getting the ball inside. This is coming out here to the left half forward, Shane Dorgan. Can Dunica get it? Dunica doesn't hold on to possession of the ball though. And uh, Kevin Desmond is fouled and it's a free out. This surely will be Kevin Desmond again. DD Dorgan spending a lot of time inside the field. And uh, Kevin Desmond, the left footed kicker, will take it as we're heading in for the break. There are 30 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Kevin Desmond to take it. It's the scores are level. Kevin Desmond to take the kick. Kicking, it's going to curl in. No, it's not. It's uh, ball has gone wide. Ball has gone to the left, and the ball has gone wide. So it's a wide ball, bit of a let off there for Avalon. Uh, there wasn't a whole pile of injury time except to the injury to Killian Kenny there earlier on in the first half. We're a minute into injury time. I think the referee is maybe going to call for it. He's walking down towards the goals. And the referee is calling for the ball here. It's half time here in Dunamore. And we're as you were when they started. The scores are level at half time. Ahabala, a goal in five. Grenat, five a goal in two rather. Grenat, five points. We look more to a lot more of exciting, tight football in the second half. And we're back here for the second half. Both teams back out, both teams level. Don't see any change in personnel so far. Jerome Donovan in the middle of the field, ready to throw in the ball. I see uh, James O'Neill has gone left half forward on Michal Toomey. Tom Kenny's gone in centre forwards. Change around as well. The ball is in and the game is on and away we go. 30 minutes left in this mid Cork Junior A Football Championship final. Ball is booted a long one inside again. And it's outside, Charlie Toomey trying to get across for Didi Dorgan. Didi bouncing the ball, comes off his knee, goes past uh, Dan Toomey at centre half back. Ball gone on the ground. He's trying to pick the ball up, and the referee's giving a throw up ball. And uh, it certainly looked a bit dodgy there, but uh, however, giving a throw up ball in round the middle. So there's, there's a ball thrown in. Game back on again, and there's a free in for Grenat. Another free in. John Russell, referee reckons was fouled. And uh, it's going to be a free in, and this will be uh, DD Dorgan country, I'd imagine. Yep, sure is. In the first minute of the second half, DD Dorgan to take the kick. Kicking, it's long, it's straight, and it's tipped over the bar by David Moynihan. 
could do nothing really about it. We're done. Uh, 54 seconds into the second half. Grenad take the lead for the second time in the match. They lead by a point, not 6 to 1 2. And uh, David Monning bringing the ball back out. Nothing really he could do, only just guide it over the bar. It's a good kick by Dee Dorgan. A minute gone. David Moynihan kicking the ball down the far side of the field. A lot of crowding around the middle of the field. Back up line trying to pick the ball up for Avalon. He's knocked to the ground and that's going to be a free. And uh, there's a bit of afters going on there. And uh, there's not very uh, pleased with some of the stuff that was going on there. And uh, coming back out is uh, Eddie Toomey. Eddie Toomey's got the ball in his hand. And uh, just, just, just having a chat there with Danny Buckley and uh, John Russell, I think. Eddie Toomey, with the ball in his hand, will have a try and work this. They, they appear to have uh, the, the, what uh, assistance the wind is giving here in the second half. Have a look, trying to work something. Ball low along the ground, it's booted off, comes into Peter Kelleher. Peter being tackled, back ball back out to Eddie Toomey. Now what can Eddie Toomey, he's gone down along the wing, passing the ball back inside again. Have a look, trying to break forward, this is Peter Kelleher. Peter kicking, past the goals with the ball going left and the ball going wide. Wide ball. Look, uh, he was shooting under a fair deal of pressure though, however. Martin Bernie, not rushing anything at all, just wondering where he's going to take the kick out from. Putting the ball down on the edge of his own square. What's he going to do with it? Who's he going to look for this time? We'll see how far his kick out goes and, 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 uh, uh, in, into the wind. All around the middle of the field. Martin Barry, who's he going to go for this time? He's coming this way again. Seamus Coleman is over there, along with Michal Toomey, holding on to the ball. Left footed kicker, Michal Toomey trying to get back to tackle him. Gary Kiley gets a tackle in, Michal Toomey wins the ball. Um, not quite sure what the free is for. Going down towards the corner, John Hogan. Donny Dorgan getting across him. John going down along the wing, keeping the ball in. Donny Dorgan very close to the line. Still there, and gone out over the line, and it's going to be a free out this time. Free out for uh, Granat. And... Uh, Nile Buckley is inside there as well. Is Nile Buckley limping? And if he was limping, it would be a serious, serious blow to Arbola. It looks like it. Tony Dorgan taking the free back inside. Coming back inside again from Mickey Han. Back to Tony Dorgan. Trying to work the ball back out. And they're working out very well. And here they come. Strongly working up the field. Kicking the ball across the middle of the field. That's a very good ball. This is Tom Kenny. They have a bit of space. Tom Kenny's got it to the forward. There's a man gone steaming up through the middle. It comes out here to Kevin Desmond. Kevin knocking the ball back. This is Tom Kenny again. Grenard certainly carrying on where they finished off in the first half. This is Dee Dee Dorgan. Going on a solo run. Trying to get around outside. Kicking it off with his right foot. It's going to be inside. It's blocked away by James Milan, who does very well. And James is pulled by the jersey. You'd imagine. Getting the ball back out. And Avala do well. Barry Kiley. What's he going to do with it now? Passing the ball back out, gets it back again. And passing the ball back out. And Dan Toomey working the ball forward. Up the field it goes. And he's fouled by Seamus Coleman, but the referee says play on. And he's met again after the ball. And the referee has got to watch his game. Eddie Toomey carrying on with the ball. Going up along the middle. Hitting a low ball in, but out comes the cornerback. And he misses Paul O'Rourke. Can he go back and get it? But can he, uh, back there is Jolly Russell. Jolly's going to get away with it. It is early. He picks the ball up. Being met with a couple of tackles, but he's still coming. Passing the ball out. Working the ball out to Killian Kenny. Getting past the feet. Met by Peter Keller. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. He passes the halfway line and then releases a long ball in towards the middle. But have a look around first time. Where the man is Shawnee to me. Shawnee winning the ball and passes the ball out here. This comes to Barry Kiley. Barry playing a little bit deep. Working the ball out here. This is his brother Declan. Declan going a bit of a solo run. Moving forward again. See what he can do with it. Being tackled. Going to ground. He's been tackled by James O'Neill. He's still going. The referee says he was fouled. And that's going to be a free end. And Seamus Coleman is going to have to be spoken to. He left uh, a couple of... Uh, uh, referee wasn't happy, I think, with the way he tackled there in the last couple of times. And uh, having a walk with him. John Hogan putting the ball down about 40 metres out. Uh, difficult free out to the right inside the goals. But if, if anybody can kick it, John Hogan can kick it. Have a look, need to score. They haven't scored since the uh, 16th minute of the first half. And a yellow card for Seamus Coleman. John Hogan. A left footed kicker. Seeing what he can do with it. Kicking in. It's looking. No. It turns off the post and the ball going wide. It almost looked good, but it actually just didn't come in. He judged everything almost perfectly, but it hit the post and the ball went wide. Kick out for Granada. They lead by a point. And we have five, almost six minutes gone in the second half. 
Six points to one two in favour of Bernard. Martin Daly taking his time once more with the kick out. Gracie going to put this one around the middle of the field. Barry Kiley playing very deep there. Barry Kiley gone back right half back. He is. Barry Kiley's gone back right half back. Michal Toomey is gone up right uh, half forward on Dennis Duggan. Barry Kiley's gone back on Seamus Coleman. Martin Barry to take the kick out. Kicking the ball out. Down the middle it goes. Number of players. It's punched up in the air by Dennis Duggan. Ball broken down again. Barry Kiley going back and Barry Kiley winning. Ball is taken off him though. And uh, can hold on to it. Seamus Coleman strong and holding on to the ball. Getting the ball back across to James O'Neill. Getting the ball back forward again. Ball worked out here and here comes Grenade. The man is Mark Kenny. Ball He's high in. Shawnee Toomey, Dee Dorgan territory. Shawnee does very well to break the ball down. Gets the ball out and there's a foul there again. And the referee has got to. Is, will he say anything about this? No, it's going to come off free. And uh, Shawnee Toomey to take the free. Shawnee's back in his own 45 meter line. As 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 Shawnee wondering what's going to happen. The referee is uh, is uh, one of the um, Grenadilla players. He allowed out Kevin Desmond. Shawnee to take the free. Looking for his for Eddie. He's the man who will be in the same town land as he is. Getting the ball back. Abel are trying to work the ball up the field. They work the ball up, and this is Eddie Toomey going forward, bouncing the ball. He's met with about 40 different tackles, and he's fouled. And the referee certainly has both sides. Both sides gone down. Players gone down from all over the place. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And the uh, referee is, uh, referee is over there as well. There's one of the Abolog players gone down. Is it Danny Buckley? And uh, didn't actually see what happened there. I think it's a free on the other side of the field for Avalog. It looks like uh, Macro with the ball in his hand. Follow the play. Not sure what happened. As we say, Gary Kiley, as we say, is down right half back. Neil Toomey has gone up right half forward. And uh, it's one, two, six points. Grenade still leading by a point. Danny Buckley has uh, gone down, and it looks like Connie Lucy is coming on the field. Connie Lucy wearing number 17, coming on the field. As uh, Danny Buckley has gone off, over the far side of the field, booted the ball in towards the goals. This is Paul O'Rourke, ball goes inside him, ball passed out, and away come Grenard, working the ball out this side of the field. And uh, it's going to be Tom Kenny picking it up, Tom doing quite well, to run across the field and get the ball up in his hand. Being met by Michal Toomey, steps inside Michal, what can he do with it? Kicks the ball right through the middle, and Mark O'Brien is... It was caught there as he went by. Dee Dee Dorgan goes to the ground. He's got in the ball. Looking for someone to pass it to. Gets the ball back. This is uh, John Russell. John Russell going inside. Going in a bouncing situation. Passing the ball inside again. Ball is dropped. Dan Toomey picking the ball up. And the move breaks down. And Arbol will come away with it. Ball out the far wing. Peter Kelleher gets the ball straight in his hand. The crowd likes this. Ball down along the wing. It's flipped away out over the line by Mickey Hahn. Did well to intercept it. And uh, it's going to be a line ball for Arbol. 1-2, 6 points, then the score remains, and we have all, we're have in the ninth minute of the second half. John Hogan making a bit of a run, picking the ball up, collecting it. He's met with Tony Dorgan out. He gets the ball up at the second attempt. Plays the ball back in low, back inside again. And have all of, this is Peter Kelleher coming across the field. What can he do with it? He's still going. Passing the ball out, this is Barry Kiley. What can Barry do with it? You know, adopting Tyrone type tactics. But Barry won't kick it over with that. He kicks the ball to the right hand side of the upright and the ball goes wide. Grenada have withdrawn a lot of their half forward line back around the middle of the field, crowding the area, making it difficult to get through. However, still only a point between the teams and we head into 10 minutes gone. Martin Barry taking the kick out again. This is the third one he's taken from the right hand side of the upright. What can he do with it? Ball. Going to the side of the field was Seamus Coleman. Niall Buckley there as well. Ball gone up. Ball broken down and the man who takes it up is John Russell. He's going well. Michal Toomey trying to chase back at him. Getting back ahead of him. Trying to put it. It's a short kind of a ball down along the wing. It's gone up here to Kevin Desmond. Kevin booting the ball inside towards uh, Dee Dee Dorgan. Dee Dee Dorgan is getting full forward. Being met by Shawnee Toomey. He's being tackled by Shawnee Toomey. He's still going. He kicks the ball across the goals. And it's a good ball, but it's uh, Abel will win the 50-50. Can he lose he's in there? But it breaks out to Raymond Dorgan. Raymond passing the ball out. This is, comes out to uh, James O'Neill. James trying to go outside. Kicks the ball across the goals. Should be a defender's ball. 
And it's it's collected by Dunica. Dunica passing the ball out. A nice ball out the wing. And it's out towards Peter Kelleher. And Peter Kelleher trying to get going up the field. And he's he's fouled again. And down he goes. And it's good. The referee is not making any great attempt to get over to the action. And uh, we'll have to see what's going to happen here. Crawling the ball back again. Is this going to be a throwing ball? This uh, Bernard man went down. And uh, have you a look at it? So that we look around again. His Mihal Tumi is after going back right half back. Gary Kylie's gone up right half forward. We have uh, 11 minutes gone in the second half. And uh, it's going to be free. It's going to be a throw up ball. And uh, yeah, he's going to throw up the ball. Ball, we throw it up again and up it goes. Ball broken down and uh, Grenat come away with it. Ball low, down along the ground. Passing the ball backwards. Grenat booting the ball out this side. Low ball in. Back inside James Dillon. Only on very well. Oh dear! Shawnee does very well. And it looked as if he was in trouble there for a minute. Getting the ball out and here comes Barry Kiley. Barry getting the ball forward to me, Hall to me. Havala getting a bit of momentum going again. Getting the ball forward, Barry Kiley again, wins the ball, goes for the kick, and it's kicked off him. Dan Toomey does very well, takes the tackle, holding onto the ball, see what he can do with it. He's down, he goes again, gets the ball back. This is Connie Lucy, down along the way to Decky Kiley, and Decky gets ahead away from his man. Now, how about need to score if they ever need him? Decky kicking, it's looking good. Oh, it's gone to the right inside of the upright, and the ball goes wide. Ball gone wide. Ball gone wide, 12 minutes gone. Ball curled to the right hand side of the upright and the ball went wide. Score still remains, 6 points for Gunnar, 1 2 to Havala. Martin Barry taking the kick out, taking his time once more. Havala looked as if they had a, a, a break on there, as it, as it were. Very tight marking from both sides. And uh, Gunnar, as we said, crowding as John Kelleher, about to make his impression, uh, appearance onto the field. Martin Barry taking the kick out, he'll follow the play, right down the middle it goes again, Niall Buckley punching the ball forward, Declan Kiley coming out, foot goes in, still going forward though, who's at the ball and Paul O'Rourke doesn't get down on it, it's three out says the referee, and uh, John Kelleher coming on for a bullet, see who's gonna, who is it, will he play is around the middle of the field or half forward, John Kelleher is on, and uh, not quite sure who's coming off. Mm -hmm. Peter Keller, I think, is the man to be called ashore. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a free out for Grenna. Martin Barry coming all the way out to take the, uh, the kick out. Here he comes. We've got uh, 14 minutes gone in the second half. One point, Grenna lead by. Six points to one, two. Martin Barry down the far side of the field. Up go the hands, down comes the ball, and away come Grenna with it. It's Jerry Russell, I think, with the ball in his hand. Trying to get up the field. Passing the ball off the outside of his foot. Very, very close to the line. Being met by Dunica Murphy. He's gone down along the wing. Michal Toomey trying to get back at him. Referee says that's a free. Quick free taken. And it's inside to Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny back inside. This is Kevin Desmond. Ken Kevin Desmond. And he kicks it. Ball left off his foot and the ball gone wide. Ball gone wide. And the score still remains. One goal and two to six points. Coming into the midway point of the second half. Danny Buckley takes the kick out, going out this side of the field was Kenny Lucy, ball over the head, Barry Kiley can't hold on to it, going down on the ball, Kenny Lucy going down is Tom Kenny and, it, and uh, fella's not very happy about it, Mark Kenny that was John, John Russell, Mark Kenny taking the free, down into the corners was Dee Dee Dorgan, Dee Dee turning around trying to get away from Donica Murphy, Donica trying to get a tackle in and Dee Dee still going, can he get it back? He gets the ball back around the middle. This comes out and this is Eddie Toomey. Eddie sees Niall. Niall's there as well. He's still going. Can he find somebody with the ball? He does. He knocks the ball out to the far side. Declan Kiley racing out for this one. Declan Kiley picks it up. Going to ground. Going along the ground. He's gone to ground and that's going to be a free in. Free in. Did he lose possession? Obviously gone. However, the referee says it's a free. 
Difficult to tell these days what's a free in football and what isn't. Dickey, what can he do with it? Passing the ball into Niall Buckley. Now, can Havala get a score? Going forward again. When the Havala players has gone down, he kicks it and he puts the ball left and he puts the ball wide. Another wide for Avala. That's the fifth wide in the second half for Avala. And we're still waiting. We had this first goal after 54 seconds. We now have 16 minutes just gone. 14 minutes left in the game. One point between the teams.